As heavy fighting continues in Ukraine, one well-known Russian socialite is still traveling regularly to France, and it is causing quite an uproar to the point where a small protest took place in Paris yesterday with people demanding that France do something to stop this because of where this woman's money allegedly comes from. Svetlana Maniovich is a woman of expensive tastes. Diamonds and couture, extravagant parties and European vacations. Just last month, she was seen shopping and dancing in the elite French ski resort of Courcheval. But Maniovich is no ordinary Russian socialite. She is the other half of Russia's deputy minister of defense, Timur Ivanov, one of the most senior architects of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And according to a shocking investigation, Maniovich continues to gallivant around France, more than a year into Russia's bloody war, despite the fact that Ivanov was sanctioned by the EU in October. The explosive report put out by the Anti-Corruption Foundation, an investigative outfit founded by Russia's jailed opposition leader Alexei Navalny, is based, they say, on a leaked archive of more than 8,000 of Maniovich's emails over the last 12 years and has racked up more than 6 million views on YouTube. It claims that on March 25, 2022, as dozens of missiles rained down on the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv, Maniovich spent more than $100,000 in a top Paris jewelry store on the Place Vendôme. How is it possible that she can continue to do this? It's, it's a very simple uh, trick that they played. Point number one, Svetlana has an Israeli passport through her first, uh, through her first husband. And second of all, six months into the war, uh, they have filed for divorce. Um, they haven't they haven't split any assets. Nothing has changed in terms of like you know daily life. They say, whatever they owned, they keep owning together. But technically, they're not uh, legally married anymore. Equally shocking are the opulent lifestyle and lavish spending that the leaked emails document. According to Russian business publication RBC, Ivanov's official income was once declared to be around 14.2 million rubles a year, less than $175,000. Yet the Navalny Group's report calculated that the couple spent more than a quarter of a million dollars in just one summer. CNN has not been able to independently verify those numbers. How is he funding this lifestyle? Well, the answer is corruption. Corruption and specifically kickbacks. According to the Russian government, Ivanov oversees construction for Russia's Ministry of Defense, including what the Anti-Corruption Foundation describes as lucrative contracts to rebuild the Ukrainian city of Mariupol which fell to Russian forces under punishing bombardment last May. The Russian army has destroyed, demolished 70 percent of the um, apartment blocks in town. They had to build new ones, and they did. So that company that built those display houses in Mariupol, it is um, the same company that pays for Timur Ivanov's personal bills. Despite claims of such brazen corruption, Putin toured the construction project last month. A request for comment on the investigation from the Russian Ministry of Defense received no reply. In France, though, the pressure may be mounting. On Sunday afternoon, the Anti-Corruption Foundation organized a small protest outside the Paris apartment it claims Maniovich still rents, demanding to know how she is allowed to spend the profits of Russia's war in the heart of France, a question so far without any satisfactory answer. CNN has reached out to the French foreign ministry who responded saying, we do not comment on individual situations. France, with its EU partners, has ended visa facilitation for Russian citizens and has also adopted targeted individual sanctions against 1,499 Russian officials and their supporters. We also attempted, of course, to reach out to Svetlana Maniovich, sending her an email, but as of yet, we have not received a reply. Clarissa Ward, CNN, London.